Hey, Chum, good to see you. Welcome back. You're just in time. What we're doing now, we're heading back into Watson to continue clearing up the streets. And by the end of this episode, we're going to head into Jig Jig Street with, uh, with Judy and uh, figure out what happened with uh, Evelyn uh, Parker with uh, Mr. Fingers. So here we are, night, beautiful night, night city. Glorious, glistening roads. Listen to good tunes on, on the back of Chiquito. Oh, so much fun. Why are they freaking out? Ooh, some bad guys over there. So this particular job is about 1.3 kilometers north. Oh. oh, that looked ugly, didn't it? Entering Little China. I wonder what this is. This is off way up north by itself. Don't remember what this job is. Boom, baby. Don't loop around. Try not to kill anybody. All right, so what is this? Looks like something got the end of the street over here. Let's park Chiquito out of the way. Cyber psycho problem. I want him alive, so really try here. And be careful. Male stromers are crazy. Psychosis or not. Ooh, cyber psycho. Alright, so what do we got here? There you go. Police drones. Just spotted some weird symbols on the ground surrounded by tons of blood. Well, I guess it's one of the Maelstrom sick ass rituals. Ooh. Man, the Milstrom are crazy. I like them. They're bad ass. Oh, Lovely giant. neighborhood. Right. Yeah, man. What do we have here? Charist characteristic of Milstrom, if not for the atypical color bleeding from the eyes and numerous taboos. No indications of resistance? Uh oh. What in the fuck? What the? What happened? This guy's alive? You okay? Lilith has concealed the Tenth Circle from the Ancestor's eyes. The hell is this? Got a bad feeling, V. Oh, this is so awesome. Severe blood loss from multiple shallow lacerations. Search the body optional. Oh, he's got a shard. See what the shard says. All right, so we gotta crack it. All right, this should be pretty easy. And it was. Okay, so. So, stereo to collect information. Ouch. Surgical instrument. Oh man. Someone breathing? Oh, what is this? Examine. Oh shit! Someone breathing in there? What's going on? Whoa, did you see that? Uh. Yeah, this game all of a sudden turned into a horror game. Um, stab wounds. Not sure what I'm looking for. It's a bloody entrails. Hey, look. What are we looking at, John? Huh. Grimy. Got like disemboweled. V, we got company. What? Ah, oh, it's coming out of the thing. Um, friend or foe? I'm so scared. Uh, did she see me? Zariah Hughes, possession of military grade pharmaceuticals. Oh. Killer! 
Whoa, she came right up at me. Ah! Uh, let's breach. I could suicide, but I'm not. That's kind of... Last time it was very unsatisfactory. Okay, what? Okay, run, 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 run. Oh, God, she's messing me up. She's super fast. Run! Run, bitch! I mean, I could end this with suicide if I wanted. Oh, I was hitting that. Wow, she's actually deflecting him like a ninja. Whoa, run! You know what? Contagion, bitch! my specialty. Keep running. Keep running. Ah! She's on my ace. It's a good thing she doesn't have a gun. I keep hitting the electricity. What grenades I got? I think an EMP would be good. Alright, this is what I'm gonna do. Since she's so fast, I'm gonna throw it, run into it, and hopefully it'll hit her. Did it get her? Whoa. Oh god, I keep hitting that delicious. Where'd she go? Ah! Heal! Keep moving! Got her down to 73. Keep moving! Hmm. Trying to get another contagion on her. I'll throw a system shot on her later. Oh god, I'm gonna die! I don't wanna die! Eat the freaking healing like candy! Ah! Come on! Oh. Grenade! Grenade! Throw another one! Yes! Wah! She's so fast! Where's my gun? What happened to my gun? Getting whooped by a naked crazy woman! Oh, she's right on top of me! Run, bitch! Run away! Ooh. She's so scary. Can we talk about this? Alright, so my ram is... Ah, God damn it! Sarah Hughes at 58%, she healed! Not fair! Oh, I'm running slow because I'm out of stamina. Let's get some distance! Oh gosh, she's killing me. There we go. Okay, keep moving. Just keep moving. Oh. oh. Here we go. That worked great. All right, cool. <laughs> Boom. Oh, that 1,300 damage. That was good. That worked good. All right, this this might be a viable. Attack me. Jump! Run, V! Where'd she go? Good, 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 yes! Mm, I'm gonna win this! Ah, oh, she hit me. Boom! Reload! Boom! Two shots! One more, one more! I got her! I got it! Yes! Oh. oh man, that was so much more fun than just casting suicide. 200 bucks. Alright, search the body. Damn, woman. Hard reset approach. Let's see what this says. The boys have prepared everything and found me a lamb. Blood will course through the fiber optics, swirling and blending with the digital, opening the gates of the abyss. Death within arm's reach. The metallic taste of this scythe on my tongue. I will tug at the tangled cables of fate. A heart reset. A blue screen. A brain reformatted. I'm ready. Luck be with me. All right, let's uh, see what Re Regina has to say about this. Regina Jones. All right, something about this ritual went wrong. Seriously wrong. Place is, place is covered in guts and blood. Must have had something to do with uploading the brain into the net and straddling the border between life and death. Only the girl who jacked in couldn't handle it. She went psycho and started tearing into her tombs. I thought women were, were more resistant to cyberpsychosis. Anyway, at least we have her alive. 
It's true, women are less likely to get cyberpsychosis. All the better we have for our life for more research. I thought nothing could surprise me anymore. Boy, was I wrong. Wonder what she heard through those cables, what caused her to crack. I'll keep looking into it. In the meantime, I'm sending you your cut, bonus included. Property developer tossed in token, in token of their gratitude for freeing up the building that Melstron was squatting in. Not bad, huh? Techno necromancers, without a doubt. Cool. Yeah, that was fun. That was fun. Okay. Let's see what we're going to do next. So, this is looking nice and clean. We got something all the way over there. Let's go over there. Let's get to our buddy Jaquito and go. Got some cops over here. Some bad things going on. None of my business. Ugh, that was fun. That was cool. Yeah, I'll save uh, suicide as a last resort against uh, cyber psychos. Otherwise, it's way too easy. But next time, I need to make sure I I use the the quick hack that uh, disables their um their Santa Vistan because that's what made that fight really really hard. Two hundred and seventy-five meters. Out in the industrial s district of Night City. All right, we're here. All right, here's good. All right, so, what are we looking at? It's breach. Very good. King. Or just a handful of people. Missing any window. No. Alright. You know what time it is. It's time for contagion. Let's duck. Creep around. Are they all close enough together? Oh, there's more over here. People keep trying to reveal position, but it's not working. Oof. They'll find me. I think they'll get me this time. Short circuit that one. Okay, that's two, three down. What are you five? One left. I'm not gonna suicide. He and he's too lonesome. Whoa. One shot to do it. There we go. We got two idiots over here. They're kinda spread apart, aren't they? What the hell? What the hell indeed? I was only able to mark one of these guys. Don't make it quick, I promise. Let's suicide this one. Because suicide is fun in this game, in this context. Otherwise, suicide is not fun. Snapper! Yep. So it's the last thing that went through her mind. A oh, bullet. What the shit indeed. Short circuit this one. Zap. And just like that, we're done. They didn't know what hit him. Cool. What's that over there? Paul Panam. Panam and Am. We're not calling Pan Am. Not yet, anyway. What's, what's this? Blood? Hmm. Seems that we're not done here yet. Let's see what this is all about. Conversation here. Grizzle all done. Info for bad. Checked out. Stuff is there. Maelstrom had no idea. Knocked them off right off guard. Just when Chum got away, but we put enough holes in them. We'll find them anyway. Don't want any witnesses. 
got it. Guy's bleeding like a burst pipe. We'll follow the trail. Nova. Then straight, uh, straight back to me. Already got a buyer for the suppressants. Got it. We'll clean up. Move out. Okay, so we broke the code. 1987. Should work. Preem. All right, so... There's no step two? There's a step two. Yeah, we'll follow the blood trail, see where it leads. We got two facilities here. Anything special? That's locked. What about over here? We got dessert. So if you follow the blood trail, it goes this way. Okay. Any more blood to follow? Yeah, right there. Alright, I can see it. So just go this way. Where'd the blood trail go? Over here? Oh, it looks like it's gonna go down the stairs. Anything else over here? No. Okay, let's go down. <laughs> I kind of wish I didn't have a quest marker for this one. Alright, search the container. Oh, he's alive. Not for long. Let's suicide him. Let's get a up close and personal. He's got a crowbar, he drops the crowbar, pulls out a knife. What are you gonna do with the knife? No, buddy! No! Ah! Jeez, that was rough. Thanks for your goodies. All right, so this is what's in this container. Machete, Oxy Booster, Archive Conversation, Kenton, and Ray. Come on. Oh, I wanted to read the conversation. It wouldn't let me. Okay. Oh, there it is. Kenton, SOS. What's up? Got two rounds of lead in my gut. That's what's up. Someone's set us a trap. Gina, Peter, Wacko, all gone. Oh, fuck. Made it out. I'm in the sewers. But if you don't get me out soon, they're going to mark me and or I bleed out. Got it. We're on it. We're on it. Hold on, Chum. I'm, uh, I'm a trying. Ah, uh, poor dude. He dead. Okay. All right. So this is all good. We're all done up here. Shit. Sure, what are we gonna do now? We're not gonna go after that. All right. So we got stuff downtown. What's this? In these. Venus and Furs. Go to the first floor. No tell, no tell. Oh, I know what that is. We're gonna hit this first though, and then we'll hit this here. See what's going on at the Notel Motel. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I'm only 10. What is this? Alright, let's go. Jumpity jump. I love the double jump. Alright, Jaquito. Where are you, boy? Oh, he's up there. <laughs> Jaquito pushed the truck out of the way like it's nothing. Who knows what you might find? Uh, uh. What are you freaking out about? Oh god, oh, who that was close. Ah! I say that and I crash. Alright, come on, B, get it together. Get it together, woman! That's what I get for drinking. Alright, here we go. Looks like we're gonna cut through here. As you know, Kabuki's got a new fixer from the USSR. Been running some major biz in NC for a few weeks now. Not sure what exactly, but we're gonna find out. You need to clip his data shard. It's got everything. More on our comrade and the gig and the attachment. Alright. 
So we're playing this Steve Steele, Mikhail Ukulov, status shard. Some loose looked bar hopping our Osaka suits have let out word about some big deal going down in with the commies. Seems it wasn't just talk for a piston contest with rival corpos either. The Mikhail Akulov arrived in Night City a while ago. The one from the car with the tracker. Ah, that guy. A top class Soviet fixer. My client wants Akulov's data shard, supposedly containing extremely valuable intel on talks with the Japanese. Go to go to hotel where Akulov's staying and swept the data out from under his nose, as if it needs to be said, but I'll have heavy protection. But he'll have heavy protection. And remember, I'll pay extra if you get in and out without a trace. All right. I got this. All right, so. It's like one big city block. It's just 24 fucking 7. <laughs> Joy toys fit for royalty and a mountain of clean gray shit like their lives depend on. Uh... Yeah, I remember. Put the word out looking, for huh? you. Still no sign of work. Yeah, Chumba, of course I asked. Mm-hmm. How am I supposed to know? You already owe me a lot, bro. Yeah, yeah, everyone knows about your sitch. Listen, I gotta get back to work. Well, fine, I'll spot you. Take a to our mark. Hey, bud. How can I help you today? Distract. Let's distract him. Show, show seems interesting. What show? Oh, interesting. What in the hell? What are we talking about? A blank TV? Don't look too busy here. Seems pretty quiet in here. Well, ma'am, Kabuki ain't... isn't what it used to be. A lot of crime around here? No, just going through a tough time. Eddie-wise. Uh, yeah, it's rough for everybody right now. I don't need a room. Um, I just need to use the restroom. I'll be back. Ooh, Russians. The Russians. What's this? <gasps> oh, I can't do it. I need it. That ability. Ugh. I should at least get it to 10. Then maybe I'd have more opportunities. All right, so use our ill-gotten data shard, access card, whatever. Just pretend like you belong, V. No big deal. Wow, that was a long elevator ride. So, I don't need to sneak just yet. It's not saying I'm in hostile territory. Who's that? A resident go out this way. Oh, I can go up that way. I first want to see what happens if I go this way. Nothing with that door. What about this one? Locked. Locked. Alright, I have to go that way. Cool. I like these stealth missions. They're a lot of fun. Okay. Go this way. Double jump for the win. Got a window here. And a camera. Turn it off. In fact, let's uh, use this camera. So, what do we have here? What's around the corner? Two, Two cameras on the network. This one is... Okay, the cameras are outside. Alright. So the people are in the building. I cannot see a thing. The ray tracing reflection is too good. Here we go. How many people are there? Let's breach. Don't care about camera shutdowns. Let's ping. That's funny, he's not showing up on the ping. Anybody else? Doesn't look like it. Okay, for now I can't cross this window because she's right there. She'll see me. Let's see if she patrolled. Yeah, she did. She patrolled away. Let's make our move. That guy went outside. What's this guy doing? Oh, he's got his back to us. Alright, we're good. Oh, God. We made it. There's a camera out here, we gotta be careful. 
Да, конечно, товарищ генерал. Я. Конечно. А это снова не сомневайтесь. До свидания. Uh oh. He's gonna be done with this conversation soon. This woman. Oh god. Okay. Мы предложим больше. Нельзя позволить китайцам нас обойти. Okay, she's facing that way. If I can get behind him. What? Oh, a convenient pillar. Scooter him out. Alright, so. Let's see here. Oh, abilities break hold. Look at that. And she's got Santa Vistan and a Krizhnikov. All right, so I wouldn't be able to take her out by grappling with her anyway. So, suicide for the win. Oof. Good night, Kyoto. Okay, so. Complete the mission and uh, see what uh, what goodies there are around here. So here's Mikhail's shard, Pendel's access token, and a Tonto. Cool. Another access token. Uh, but of course I gotta look around. It's probably good stuff in a nice place like this. Alright, let's go. Another penthouse access token. Got three of them now. Oh, they're disabled. There it is. I was wondering why it took so long. Okay, here we go. What was that? I heard a noise. Alright, that's it. You know, I would wait like at least 15 minutes before you go in there, and but after you have to go sooner, take like a match. Excellent. Car Regina. Shard is secure. Nice work. Sending you the drop off coordinates. Klein will be waiting for you there. Who am I meeting? Why do I feel like a corpo agent right now? What's all this about? China. They're the client. China, huh? Thought you never liked swimming with the sharks. Everyone's got dead speed. You do what you gotta do. Guess so. What happened? I'm not. That's not my. That's none of my business. What kind of debt? What kind of debt? Just something from my muckraking days. Needed help and fast too. Help for what? I'm sorry. Do you hear me poking around your personal biz, digging through your past? No. Suppose not. Just teasing me. Sort of. If it's all the same to you, I'd rather just get this over with and move on. So you heading to the meet or what? Yeah, I got you back. I'm on route. Pete, wait. Yeah? When you get there, no questions. Makes them real cranky. Try my best. I don't speak Mandarin anyway. Alright, where's this at? It is over here. But I want to do this one first since we're just right here. With this first, so we could see uh, what uh, Meredith South wants from us. No tell, motel. Entrance looks like it's over there. So, oh yeah, it's leading me that way anyway. Okay, here we go. Meredith Stout, first floor. Man, what a sleazy looking place. Of course, I got bad memories here too. So what we got going on? Bet you didn't oh my. expect to see me here. Uh. Uh. So. Um. What now? 
So what now? What's that? Hmm. I think I like the look in her eye. Oh my. <laughs> Meredith likes to take the lead. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> I love this game. What's this? You love me and leave me? I feel so used. This room smells like stale cigarettes and egg whites. Electric Baton Alpha. Meredith, sometimes two people find themselves at the wrong place at the right time. I guess so. <laughs> That's a rare... Okay. Some weird peripherals in this room. Alright, well. Easy peasy. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Before someone sees us. Walk of shame. Okay, let's go um, make this drop. Right there. Where's Jackito? There he is. Don't look at me like that, Jackito. Don't judge me. I was, I was vulnerable. I was in a weak place. Alright. Entering Little China. over here. Ooh, I see something epic over here. Let's go here first. What is this? What do we got here? Sandivist and Tiger Paw. While Sandivist and Zacta defeating an enemy restores 35% stamina. Cool. So don't ask questions, huh? Yo. He's way ahead of you, man. That's it. Shishini. <laughs> this sort of gig, no hiccups? Quiet as a roach? Color me impressed. Contract closed, and thanks. Yeah, even had time to stop by somewhere and lose my innocence. One more thing. One more thing, there's an extra bonus and a drop point for your excellent work. Alright, so where's that? It's all the way up there. And it's right next to what looks to be graffiti. Maybe I'll stop by there. What's this? What's over here? Talk to Barry, go to Wilson's. Oh, okay, so this is right by my house. So we'll actually hit this and then hit back here. And then I think this right here is the last thing here for in Watson, right? Cool. Let's do it. Let's do it. What's the matter, B? Walking kind of funny. <laughs> no judge, no judge. Come on, everybody wants some love. Oh, it's just right here. What you give me? A Taipan and a Lexington. Yeah, here you go. Five bucks. Here. All yours. Well, so good in you. God bless. All right, let me go to my garbage. Okay, so now let's go talk to Barry and then Wilson. Well, we're gonna actually come across Wilson first. All right, we'll do uh, Wilson and then we'll hit up Barry. Oh! Hey. We're gonna 
Kita ke back <laughs> I ran somebody over. My bad, my bad. Get to the elevator view before the cops get here. Put the gun away, V! That's not what we want to do. Beat it. Oh, come on. You're kidding me. Stupid pedestrians. Ah. Uh, hey, hey V, about to start. You uh, you got to take a piss or something? Uh, now's the time. No, I'm good. Let's Thanks start. for your concern. Let's start this rodeo. <laughs> Can't just yet. Not till you get in the range. Go on, set up, chop chop. Hell yeah. Let's show these suckers how to do this. I'm going to take your ammo. Here we are. The new. I guess I gotta equip the new, right? Alrighty, how many we got? Just six? God damn. Well, no point crying about it. <clears throat> Rules are simple, right? There's the target, shoot it. Don't matter which one, go on and shoot your neighbors. Most hits win. Uh, meaning hits on the target, not your neighbor. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, small caliber iron only. Don't go showing off with your fucking assault bangers or no rocket pukers. Got me? First prize is a pistol. But, uh, a, a real nice one. It's fucking nice, I'm telling you. Anyway, uh, enough words. Worked up. Ready? Ready. Three. Two. Hey, hey. The hell's that? What the hell are you doing with that double barrel? Said small caliber only. Yeah, you idiot. Uh, forgot my iron. Must be in my other jacket. That's why you keep your gun in a holster. A holster! Get the fuck out of my sight now! Fuck, Chum. Chill. I'm going. I'm going. Learn to follow instructions. Pearls before swine, for fuck's sake. All right, let's go. All right. Three, two, one. I'm ready. One bullet per target. Is it shots landed or targets hit? I don't know. The target. Hit the target, not the I'm wall. trying, man. I'm trying. Stop riding me so hard. Look at good, Rudy. Go, go, go. Screw you, Rudy. You can't beat me. Halfway there, B. Get a grip for fuck's sake. I'm trying. The hell was that, Lisa? Forget your glasses? I don't like this gun. 15 seconds. Last chance, B. Can I see my score anywhere? Three, two, one. Stop! Everyone, stop! We're done. I think I saw. I think I was supposed to get a hundred. I think I only got thirty-six. First place, Rudy. Second, V. The rest of you bush league punks, learn to shoot. Get out of my sight. Oh, it's bullets landed. Eh, I don't care. Hey, everything okay? Hey, are you okay? Okay, I lied. I care. Something. Ah, like the smell of powder and hot All right, I got 50. But I think you're gonna get a hundred for stop. to win Everyone first place, stop. right? We're I don't done. know. First place, V. Oh, okay. Second, Woo. Rudy. Rest of your bush league pumps. Learn to shoot. <laughs> Suck it, Rudy. Now. Let's talk to Wilson. Take the prize, first place, second. Okay. What I got? What'd you get me? 
at Lexington. Thanks, Wilson. Very cool looking that Lexington. Sure is pretty. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hey, everything okay? Hey, are you okay? Something wrong? <sighs> Ain't a damn thing that's right. Contest didn't do shit. Didn't sell a goddamn thing. Nothing. Should try not calling potential buyers Bush League. <laughs> yeah, maybe, but... Fuck! Good something you gotta respect. You don't know how to shoot, don't do it! <sighs> Take care, V. I'll see you around. All right, Wilson. Thanks for the gun. That was fun. I wonder if Wilson's based on like a, a real person, like a YouTuber or something. He's got a lot of character. All right, so now let's go check on Barry. Peace away. So Barry's on the second floor? The or the same floor? Rain, those with issues yeah, Oh, no. What's going on? What? You looking at me? Something on my face? Okay, okay, Bo. Chill. I'm just trying to talk to Barry. I might be on the wrong floor. When danger lurks. Okay, where's Barry? What the hell? We'll be there. Oh, I was on the wrong floor. One floor down. Because your life is worth it. Yeah, right there. Barry? Am I remembering that right? Who is it? V! Your neighbor from upstairs. Remember me? Talked about Prem rides. Back then you were pumped about the Mizutani Shion. I said it was for flash posers. <laughs> you don't forget a gunk thing like that. <laughs> she gave me this look. I was about to hightail it to the Badlands right then and there. I remember. What do you want? Hey man, people like us have to get used to loss, buddy. Just wanted to see what's shaking. Friends say you never leave your unit. Think I've got an inkling as to why. Seen that look before. It's all too common among people like us. Us? <laughs> you don't look like a cop. Badges don't get a monopoly on loss. You see death every day in my line of work. You get used to it, of course. Until it hits someone you're close to. You too. Yeah. Come in. You need to clean up, man. This is no way to live. Now let's talk to Barry after we <laughs> look at this place. You don't mind me snooping, do you? I'm a female V. People are used to female snooping. No offense to the ladies that's watching. Don't hate me. Please don't hate me. I lost someone too, man. I lost someone close to me too. Damn good friend. What do you mean, two? Wait. It's about Andrew. They, uh, told you about him. Best bud I ever had. Known in my whole life. Only person I could spill to without being judged. Well, what about your friends on the force? No point in talking shit about the NCPD. You didn't have anyone to unload on at work? How about Petrova and Mendez? Petrova's a decent gal, but... She's not good with this stuff. Mendez just doesn't get it. He thinks us blues need to be tough. Can't bear the sight of a kid getting murdered. Born with pussy genes. According to him. But you told him about Andrew. Honestly, I thought about it a lot. Anyway, they don't know everything. Better that way. Yeah, how'd Andrew die? Can you tell me how Andrew died? Does it matter? Normally. From old age. It's no wonder, seeing as he was only a few years younger than my grandma. Dying of old age? In Night City? That merits a monument. Whole world should gaze up at it now. Oh no shit. <laughs> Ashbox and the niche will have to do. Yeah. Well, you know, Barry, everyone's got their limits. Mendez doesn't know shit about life. Everyone's got their limits, even him. He just hasn't reached them. Not like you. What if he's right, though? Maybe my genes are soft. Don't only the strongest survive. If you felt nothing, that means his loss wouldn't have had any meaning. I guess so. 
Thanks for the talk, V. I am. Um, I need time to take all this in. Sure thing. Take care. All right, man. Splashing water on your face is something. All right, boyo. Talk to the cops. Where's the cops? Find Andrew's niche before talking to the cops. All right, where's that? I'm not gonna talk to the cops. Where's, how do we, is there a way to? Yeah. Okay, so it's leading us out, okay. We're going to the elevator. Right, let's go. I don't think I did this last time. I did this, uh, this mission. Oof, we're going a long way. Alright, so how far away is this? It's all the way over here, and there's a tarot card there. Okay, why not? Oh, there you are, Jaquito. Didn't see you, pal. Try not to hit anyone, V. <laughs> oh! Can't turn. There we go. Whoa! What's the music? Come on, guys, hurry up, hurry up. I've got places to be. Look at this traffic. It's pretty cool. Pass on the outside. Cool. Okay, so during the day, there's definitely more traffic. Whoa, God! You just learned to use the indicators, man. Uh, okay, let's go against the traffic circle. Because rules don't apply to us. Ugh. Oh, this area of the game is really pretty. It's like the Hollywood Hills. Except miniaturized. Come on, you drive like my grandma. North Oak. Broom. Okay, so this is a memorial. Is it a memorial or is it just a, what do you call that, a mausoleum? Where you store ashes? I don't know. Alright, so, got a couple things. But why? Why can't I easy. talk to her? Because mom got really sick and had to leave. But I know she's been watching. Oh, it's right here. She loves you very much. Cool. Whoa. Alright, cool. Find Andrew's niche before talking to the cops. So it's in this area here. Oh, here we are. In loving memory of my best friend, Andrew, you were a tortoise, but you listened like a person. You were with me when Grammy explained what was right. You are the last memory of a better world. Rest in peace. 
Shit, Barry needs help. Barry's not okay. I mean, if that tortoise was the one thing that got him up in the morning. Now you're starting to get it. His friends have to know. Hopefully it's not too late. You know how it goes. Stare too long into the abyss, the abyss will stare right back at you. Taking a step into it wouldn't be so drastic, considering the shit he's seen in his lifetime. Okay, so now we gotta talk to the cops. Alright, here we go. Ugh, I'm lost. Let's just make our own exit. There we go. So, where are we going now? Okay, we're just going all the way b right back. Okay. Thursday, Friday, whatever Let's retrace our steps. Let's go with the flow of traffic this time, huh? This would be a fun road to drive in on in real life. Except without traffic, of course. Bad there isn't a way to control the, the gas pedal like with an analog trigger of sorts or something on the keyboard. Too bad the Tartarus doesn't have an analog stick on it. Hmm. I'm surprised someone hasn't made a gaming a gamepad or I don't know what you call it, the Tartarus, the Razer Tartarus. It's sort of like a gaming keyboard or keypad or something like that. It has a directional pad on it, but it's digital. I like an analog stick on it. The closest thing I saw was the Logitech one, but man, that thing was so uncomfortable. To the left, whoa, don't hit him. Take you by him, here we go. <laughs> Cut that guy off. Woo! <laughs> Alright, so we gotta see if we can save Barry's life. Come on, man. It's not too late. Just hold on a little bit longer, buddy. You know what? Let's see if Wilson has anything new in stock. As far as... Uh, mods go. Status-related stuff. Damage. Take all this damage. And garbage. Okay. A happy new gun owner. Alright, I gotta save a life, Bell Wilson. Hey, wait, don't go. Gotta talk to the co-ops. There they are. Hey, Chorizos. Talk to Barry? Yeah. He finally decided to get his shit together. For crying out loud, Mendez. I visited Andrew's grave. Barry isn't in great shape. So much so, in fact, that he preferred to talk to a tortoise instead of you two. That's supposed to be funny? The complete opposite. It's sad as hell. Barry didn't handle badge life too well. You made fun of him, so he stopped sharing things. And apart from you guys, all he had was a tortoise. His best friend. A memento of his grandma. Until he died, that is. Fuck. I don't fucking believe this. You're bullshitting me. Wow, it just occurred to me that um, Barry's friend who died, Andrew, was a tortoise. It only just now occurred to me. And the gravity of the situation about... Yeah, so his tortoise died, he had no one else to talk to, so he entered this deep depression. It's kind of funny, it's kind of absurd, but at the same time, it's really, really sad. Right, because I love to bullshit badges. Right, because I like to bullshit badges in my spare time. Why would he lie to us, though? He talked about that tortoise like it was a normal person. How do you think men does it react if Barry admitted he was talking to animals? Jesus, Barry. I thought he was being a drama queen, and he'd get over it. I gotta go and talk to him. 
About time. Yeah, you go do that. Thanks for your help. This is for your trouble. Cops actually paying me? Okay. Right, let's go check on Barry. Oh. I already told you. You ain't got a warrant, you ain't coming in. Damn it, Barry. Can't we just talk? Petrova told me your last case was what? a real ball buster. Boss told you to Please, keep your lips man. sealed, huh? Had a similar situation once, you know? Fucking child killer. Dirtbag was on the Petrochem board. So it was out of our hands. Remember it to this day. That little kid's t-shirt. Green with this on a yellow cat. Can I come in too? Ah. Alright, well at least Barry didn't die this time. That's, that's cool, I didn't know you could save him. Alright, so next up. Oh cow, are we actually done? Yeah, just this right here is the last one in Watson and we're done with Watson. Although, what's his name by um, Misty's shop? Gotta talk to him a few more times, so there's at least that much more to go. Alright, so let's go take care of this last thing in the area, Watson. And then let's go, um, let's call Judy and see uh, about Jig Jig Street and Evelyn Parker. Let's go. Alright, let's go. Chiquito is waiting for us. Nice. And away we go. Move! Oh, oh you driving by Victor. Is Loudmouth out? Let me just check. Even though the quest marker isn't showing up. Let's see if he's out. Play asleep. Yeah, he's napping. Carry on. So it's just to the left over here. What is over here? I better park Jikito out here. What's over here? What are you? Security guard, no affiliation. I could breach him though, so let's breach him. Some rent the cops. We're gonna kill some rent the cops. Cool. Let's do it. Ping. How many of them are there? I see four. Oh, these guys aren't gonna know what's gonna hit them, man. They're doomed. You know what? Let's have a little fun. What do you say? I still have the scalpel on me. Yeah, let's do the scalpel with uh, increased crit chance on it. All right, let's do that. And what grenades I got? Flashbang, good. Let's do this. Yeah. Throw a tool there. Let's get him. Uh. Let's get this one. Enemy contact. I'm uh. Watch out. Put her down! Oh, well, you now. Yeah. Ah, fuck! Out of here! You lost your arm. Where you going? <laughs> Alright then. That was easy. <laughs> yeah, that's the way I played my last playthrough. You know, gotta go back to your roots every now and then. <laughs> Got to loot something off of this guy. Alright. 
So let's see what this is down here. How do I get down there? Looks like there's stairs or something. Oh, okay, I see stairs, but how do I get to this? Oh, there, right there, it's a ladder. Okay. Jump. Huh. Some on the junk pile over here. It's a dead body. Question. Let's read it. Dear Mr. Griffin, no, we don't check the contents of the urns held in our col columbarium. However, however, we do suggest you read our terms of service carefully before depositing the ashes of your loved ones here. In particular, item 7.8, prohibited substances. Sincerely, Jerome Gallagher, customer service. What? So he was trying to, like, hide drugs and, like... What's this? Minor payment due? Oh, Mr. Griffin again. Dear Mr. Griffin, this is Nicole Ellis, representing Veni Vidi Vici. I would like to inform you that we have re recently acquired your personal debt amounting to 6.5 million bucks. We kindly request immediate payment. If you are unable to settle your accounts, we will unfortunately have to initiate foreclosure and collection proceedings. If during such proceedings we are unable to cover the aforementioned amount, we will also be forced to collect your implants and any biological organs. As you can see, it would be in your own best interest to settle your debt in a timely manner. If you are considering leaving that city, please note that our firm works in close cooperation with NCPD and South California Border Patrol. Holy crap. Debt collectors in Night City. Woo! Actually, look at that movie. I forgot what it's called. It dealt with, like, black market organ transplants and things. Oh, it's such a long, long time ago. There's no way I'm gonna remember it now. All right, I think we are done with Watson, guys. Yeah, look at this nice and clean slate. Okay, so let's call. Um, let's call Judy. Let's call that girl Judy. Where's Judy? Uh, where's Judy? Am I not seeing this? There she is. I just passed it. Buenos dias, señorita Alvarez. You called. Promised I would, uh, I would, didn't I? Promised I'd call, didn't I? Promising's one thing, keeping it's a whole other bag. So, managed to learn anything? Yeah, I got a lead on Evelyn. Evelyn's not at Clouds anymore. Behavioral chip was damaged. Apparently they carted her off to a ripper dock goes by fingers. Oh shit. Know where to find him? Know where to find this fingers character? Yeah. Runs a dinky chop shop off Jig Jig Street. Fuck V. Guys, all kinds of bad news. All right, heading there now. Heading there now to find her. I told her to stay the fuck away from clouds. Oh, all right, later V. All right, so let's get to there. That's this one, right? No. this one no yeah space in between this one all right let's go go talk to mr fingers it's one of those things it's like why do they call him mr fingers and do i really want to know that answer ah we've been through traffic is very satisfying Hey, got a job for you. Swing by when you have a second. I don't even know who that is. Who's Nyx? Sounds kind of familiar. Good morning, Night City! I've got a real noodle cooker for you today. Researchers at Biotechnica have exposed the dolphin to the brain dance of a human child in the dream. Apparently, his perceptive point is cousin can already distinguish between all our vowels. It's a damn shame. Dolphins can only survive in lab tanks. I'd sure love to see them take a crack at world domination. Dolphins and world domination coming at you at 6 p.m. There's a ripper dock over here. I want to talk to the ripper dock. One floor down. I sort of got off the bike a little too soon. Got excited about the ripper dock. Let's keep going. 
There we go. Alright, Fine Fingers Clinic. There's more to your taste. So, there's more up your alley than clouds. Hey, at least here you know what you're getting. I suppose. Any more in sight? No? Okay. Got joy toys. Thanks, wow, getting in my face. <laughs> I think I deserve that. Is that what he said? Pee pee. Lady, you don't look so good. Oh, the stew of humanity. No future. Got some thugs out front. Well, well, what do we got here? And you just the cutest thing. If you're looking for a release, I just might be your man. Well, dude, you can't handle me. Don't start. Got an issue needs sorting out. Here to do that. So how about you fuck off, let me through, and no one will be the wiser. So serious from the get-go? I was only joking. Sheesh. Fine. Let her through, Sludge. <laughs> Name is Sludge. Okay, I, didn't I talk to the thugs enough? Talk to the thugs. Okay, that counted. Do I want to look around here? No, no. Oh, gracious creature and, and benign! Joy toys under the influence of drugs. What's this? The world. Drug Bloody name? Dame. Benzodiazepine. Probably a fabric. I'll play to him! Shut for thy face! Arise! Veins. Sounds like paradise. 24 hours, you feel no pain and barely remember a thing afterwards. Who can blame him then? Oof. Very dim. Yo, you all right? Hey, you all right? No way I'm gonna swim. I hate water. Can't you see nobody cares? His fingers, fingers. around. Know where I can find him? If I could, I'd swap, you know? Why does everything have to be so damn convoluted. In the end, only I got left the shredded cables and empty bottles. Guy's in bad shape. All right, let's go. Hmm. Hey, hands off! Her. Think I'm scared of your skinny ass? You will be when every box in town depends on this shithole. Is that Judy? You got a financial claim? Take it to court, you pussy. Oh, and leave me be. Fine, I get it. Everyone's got their breaking point. Just pay me what you owe me, and you can v, fuck off hey. the greener pastures. What's going on here? Hello? There's a line. Nuh uh, you ain't good. <laughs> I don't know you. Sit your ass down and wait your turn. Doctor's waiting office. That shit has a name. Something around Bloody hell. What? Come on, you, you know fingers? I'm trying to talk to you, Judy. Come on. Fingers guy. You know him? Heard some things, yeah. Like his hand sometimes slips. Hey. Glad you came, Judy. Um, it's good to see you again. Glad to see a familiar face. I'm worried sick about her, V. Had no idea anything had happened. We'll find her. I know we will. Right? Why did Evelyn go back to the? Why did Evelyn go back to clouds? After the heist, Evelyn holed up with the Mox for a while, right? That's right. So why the hell did she go back to clouds? <sighs> Thought she'd be safer there. God knows why. Tried to get her to see straight, but she wouldn't listen. And okay, well, you talked to fingers yet? You talked to fingers yet? If only. He's harder to get in to see than the best docs in town. We're gonna be here forever. I just know it. Maybe you could talk to those girls, see if we can cut in front. Why me? Yeah. I don't think they like me. Just give it a shot. That or come up with something better. Oh. Evelyn really means a lot to you, huh? She means a lot to you, doesn't she? 
And you've arrived at that conclusion how exactly? The moment you knew where she was, you sprang into action. Once you get close to Evelyn, you never want to let her go. Wait, do you think she's here? You think Evelyn's being kept here somewhere? On the one hand, hope she is, because I want her back fast. Yeah. But on the other, hope to God, no. Because who knows what that sick fuck could have done to her. You used to work at Clouds, huh? You worked at Clouds. Not as a doll. Tuned their virtues. That's where I met Ev, Tom, and the rest of the crew. Alright, let me see what I can do here. Who are these guys? Ross, Austin. Health condition sick. Faulty damage cyberware. Yeah, they all have similar stories, I think. Alright, let's uh, sit down. Where's fingers? Fingers helps working folk. Seen a girl with blue hair. Yo, seen a girl with blue hair here? You seen a woman with blue hair around here? Had a doll chip. I uh, think I know who you're talking about. Fingers worked on her, sure. She's still here? No idea. Gotta ask him. Kinda sounds like uh, Judy, a little bit. So I could bribe him, I could wait, I could threaten them. And then here's cool, my friend's here in really bad shape. Can we cut in line? Please, please, cherry on top. My friend here, she's in really sorry shape. Couldn't let us cut in front just this once. Uh, uh, Give that woman an Oscar. Honey, be my guest. Well now, hold on, hold on a sec. Didn't seem so bad just a minute ago. She's a toughie. Keeps it inside, mostly. Now try to Come on, let's go. Lips of yours. Mm -hmm. you just gotta talk to people, that's mm. all. Find a way into it. Wait, something's wrong. Can't see nothing but a blur. Faceplate's previous owner had a longer face than you. Edges are stretching your optic nerves. Ugh. Don't worry. Your eyes I think he's done. We going in? Yeah. Oh my. Yes? Hello. What can I do for you? Oh, what the? Yo, where's Evelyn Parker? Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. I know she was here in your clinic. Ah, oh, so that's what this is about. Where is she? Ah. Oh. A loaded question, if I've ever heard one. You, Tiger Claws? As far as I know, I'm all paid up. We're with the Mox. Judy's about to lose her shit. The Mox? Why didn't you say so? So, what brings you here? Install faulty implants, homie. These girls know you're chipping faulty implants. You might say so. I'd say they're the very best I can find. See? What's in it for you? Whatever they have to offer. And they always have something to offer. <laughs> You're a sick fuck. Know that? You're looking for a friend? <laughs> but you help working girls. Heard you help the working girls around here. Well, very few children will play with broken toys. So when skin goes flabby, sockets go out of whack, implants malfunction, I'm sure you get the gist. You pay for goods, you expect top quality. Consumerism 101. Please, scrapyards offer better quality than this. Oh, I just told you. Where's Evelyn Parker? Already told you. I'm looking for a woman named Evelyn Parker. Need to know where she is. Step into my office, please. Many girls come through here. So many. But let me put it to you this way. I believe in giving each of them the personal touch. Ask anyone. I'm more than a chop doc. See, I know what people truly want. To be flattered, praised, patted. To feel like... Like they deserve it. Of course. I can't remember each and every one. Even if it's a specimen as exquisite as you. Please set your exquisite derrieres down. Yeah. 
<laughs> Judy's about to lose your patience. Alright, let's sit down then. You remember her. I know you do. Punch. Sit down. Name four. Set off any buzzers. Alright, so... My last playthrough, I punched him. I beat the shit out of this Forget guy because... Hold on, Judy. So I beat the shit out of him because, you know, I figured he deserved it. But that locks you out of his inventory later when he becomes like a, a ripper doc. So I'm not going to actually do it this time. I know a lot of you want me to, but I'm really curious to see what he sells. You remember her. I know you Wind do. Wind jittery soon as I mentioned her name. Don't try getting out of this. I know you remember her. I, I have a neurological condition. It's not easy living with ticks. Really. I'd love to help, but if only I knew who you were talking about. Is that right? Name Forrest. Set off any buzzers? Forrest. Name mean anything to you? No. Nope. They call him Woodman. Works at the dollhouse. You... you talked to him? Yeah, we talked. Woodman and I, we had a talk. Told me he brought her here to you. Said you paid him for her. What good was she to you? <laughs> you must have misheard. First of all, I didn't pay in any for her. He paid me to take her in. What? Second, I never laid eyes on those eddies in the end because I couldn't rejig her implant. So he left her with me as payment for my efforts. Oh, you disgusting piece uh, of shit. I can't fucking listen to this. We are talking about a living, breathing person. Half alive, technically. Poor girl. Tried to help her, I did. But as you can see, this isn't exactly a state-of-the-art facility. What's wrong with her? Mentioned you couldn't help her. Help her with what, exactly? If I only knew, I wager she'd be standing here, happy and smiling. Instruction register on her chip was burnt to a crisp. Tried replacing it. Nothing. Damage was caused by a netrunner using homebrewed malware. Sounds about right. Well, so can she even be saved if we found her? You know, Fingers, I think you should get to the point, man. I'm starting to lose my patience now. Get to the point! The point? Ah, yes. Well, I haven't the faintest idea where she is. Enough of this bullshit! What'd you do to her, you freak? Now, either you put a muzzle on this creature, or put her down. It's impossible to have a conversation with her around. Oof. Yeah, don't talk to her that way. Oh, I want to punch her so bad. And I'm not gonna tell Judy to calm down. Yo, don't talk to her like that. Focus don't me. talk to her like that. She insulted me! Look, the quicker you spill, the shorter you'll have to put up with us. Now, Evelyn Parker, where is she? Could very well be on her way to becoming the next underground brain dance, darling. That's all I know. The hell do you mean by that? Underground BDs? What do you mean by underground? I don't know. I mean, I don't watch that sort of stuff. Judy will know. Snuff? XBDs? I told you I don't know. You know that for sure? You sure about this? Four days I had her here. She was out cold in La La Land for practically every minute. It wasn't a slumber party. We didn't have pillow fights and promised to send each other postcards. Okay, where are these BDs recorded, man? Where will we find her? How many times do I have to repeat myself? I, I don't know. I, I did what anyone in my place would do. When I realized I wouldn't be able to help her, patch her up, I called my fixer. Two guys came and picked her up the same day. Who's your fixer? Who'd you call? Who's your fixer? Well? With Kako. Oh. Told her I had a busted doll with a BD implant to hand off. Kako. Where did they take her? Where did they take her? He doesn't know. I told you already. I don't know. 
They weren't the talkative kind, and I'm no gunk. I know better than to ask questions of people like that. You're no gunk? What do you think? Why do all these girls come in here, let you grope around them? Think it's for your charm, your caring attitude? They do it because they got no choice. And in the end, they despise you. They can smell you pathetic. What they look like. These guys, what did they look like? Like you, me, anyone else in this city. Really now, they look like you. <laughs> they look like the kind of guys you don't make eye contact with. One of them was a bearded fellow. What were they planning to do with her? The two that came for her. Didn't say anything about where they'd take her, what they were gonna do to her. Mentioned something about virtues with a moth, of all things. Said she'd be perfect for them, whatever that means. But that's really all I know. You ponder off like she was some fucking inanimate mannequin. Because that's exactly what she was. You should hit him. There you go. Looks like he has had his face scratched. Looks like he kind of liked it. Need air. Ooh, I'll be God. outside. I want to punch him so bad. Oh, Judy's right. Judy's right. People like you make this city a living hell. Day in, day out. Got what you wanted, didn't you? So get the fuck out of here. After I steal your shit. I'm taking everything. I'll be more than glad to show you around. But, um, uh, later, perhaps. He doesn't have anything. I did loot something just now. I think that might, that might have been iconic. Alright, let's talk to Judy. I got still all that shit, though. Alright, where's Judy? I feel sorry for you, ladies. Alright, where's Judy? I let her go back to clouds. Could have stopped her, but I didn't. Your sis isn't that bad. No, he's a piece of shit. Can't afford. Yo, don't worry, we'll find her. Don't worry, we'll find her. I know it. We'll fucking find what's left of her butchered corpse. Hey, keep it together. Want to give up now? No. Only lead we got's an XBD. Where's that get us? We also know we're looking for something related to the Death's Head. Better than nothing. I don't get your optimism. Still sounds like a big fat nothing to me. I just don't give up, man. Death's Head, heard the term used before? Death's Head symbol bring anything to mind. Anything. Doesn't matter how small. Yeah, this is your... This industry... I mean, market's looking for every kind of fetish out there. It's cavernous. But an XBD outfit would be on the move almost always. It makes them harder to nab, harder to sting. Well, we need to find where they scroll these things. Need to figure out where they're scrolling this stuff. Gotta be a rat hole of some sort. Doubt they do much shooting on location. Yeah, gotta be somewhere quiet, out of the way. Could be we'll see something to point us in their direction and one of their virtues. Ugh, have to be real gonks to leave a clue. You know, everyone, everything leaves a trace behind. Everyone, everything leaves something behind. Just need to know where to look. Lucky for me, I'm running around with the best BD specialist in town. That's an extra pair of expert eyes. True story. Well, your BD expert has a better idea. Pleasures of Night City, a domain with its twin on the dark net. Okay. Every kind of thing goes on there. Might stumble on something useful. Let me think for a sec. Yeah, she, he mentioned Wakako. That makes the most sense, right? Think I'll try calling Wakako. Fix your fingers mentioned. I thought of an angle to run on her. Why would I need one? Yeah. Even if she knows the studio's location, she's not gonna spill. Be putting her neck on the line. <sighs> okay. I'm buying the brain dance. We can analyze. Play detective. Fine. Meantime, see if I can't find something on the NCP domain. I'll wait in the van. All right. Let's go and call Wakako.
V, nice surprise. What is it you need? Um, our things. How's things, Waco? This a prelude to whatever illegal favor you're about to ask me? Yeah. What? Never. <laughs> no, no of course case, not. In that case, they couldn't be better. Kind of you to ask. And you? Um, I'm looking for a brain dance. Looking for a brain dance? Oh, any particular one? Logo on the casing? A death's head moth. Whoa, now. That's quicksand. So I would advise caution. Yes, uh, do you know who makes them? Know who makes them? Where they scroll them. And do you know what a fixer does? Allow me to explain. Not only do I finalize transactions, I can accomplish the goddamn impossible. Which would be... Making sure the buyer, supplier, and ever-neglected intermediary not only keep their heads in the games, but keep their heads, period. So don't you ever ask me who, with whom, where, when, why, or how. <laughs> okay. Well, can you get me one? Can you get me one of those recordings? No, but I have a pretty good idea who can. Who'd that be? There's a store on Jig Jig Street. It has a Pandora's box worth of crap in sight. Try asking the owner. Thanks, Waco. I visit the sex shop on Jig Jig Street. Oh, of course he's open. Uh. Oh, if we didn't want to... No? Weird. Okay, yeah, that was an alternate alternative entrance if we didn't want to do it with the thugs, I guess. All right, let's go. Wow, we were in there all night. If we need to unwind a little bit, we can talk to her. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, this is a different route I'm taking this time around. Use I did something else last time. Why do you think I came here? Wow, you look cool. So I wouldn't Looking for to... a special kind of brain dance. Looking for a uh, something special. A uh, brain dance to really You mean smut? No. More hardcore. Won't find it here. But there's a guy on Jig Jig Street has a whole lot of peculiar flicks, and I mean peculiar. Okay, so what would benefit me from saying that again? Find a dealer on Jig Jig Street. Okay, so maybe it is about the same route. Well, look at all these um, little ornaments, like, uh, you know, for friends and gifts and family. Okay. Okay, this time it's leading me to him. Last time you had to search for this guy manually. Okay. Looking for something raw. I'm I'll come back some other time. Am I interrupting? Betting on it. This is one stylish looking dude. What do you got in How here? How about you? You buying or just gonna stand there like a pig undercover? What are you buying? What are you selling? What have you got? Virtues. Any special kind? Well, let me put it to you this way. Those who know don't need to ask. Well, I need a special kind of brain dance. Looking for BDs. A particular kind. Particular? You a badge? Cop would have enough evidence to detain already. I think that's a corporal route. If I was a badge, you'd already be in cuffs for what you sold the customer before me. All right, all right. Can't be too careful. What do you want? Give me the best of the best. Ones with the death's head. <sighs> Didn't know I was dealing with a connoisseur. Death's head will cost you, though. What? No discount? How about a discount for your newest customer? Only give regulars discounts. If you're short, then fuck off. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't care about that. All right. Got anything that might interest me? Hmm. Okay, so there it is right there. What is this? Got some immunity to bleeding? I will buy that. And, of course, that. What else we got here? Cut it out. Allows you to craft a clothing mod. 
How much is it? Eight grand? Why not? Training shard allows you to craft and upgrade items to epic for two minutes. Okay. Hmm. I'm not gonna worry about that. Yeah. Pleasure doing biz with you. Okay. Let's go to Judy's van. It's over here. Let's go. Kind of funny, Judy drives a van. Hop in. Let me get everything prepped. You make sure the wreath's snug on you. You'll watch while I edit in real time. The old one too. Okay. Ready. Ready when you are. I want you to describe what you see. You might catch something like this. Too bad we don't have T-Bug. Let's pause it. We got something going on here. Good to go. Dig around all you want. Scout woman. Who knew that sides chopping people up, they were scrolling XBDs. So we got other things we could scan. Oh, what's this? Ordered recently. Oof, what a nightmare. All right, what else we got to look at? Electric cork patch on the coveralls. Oof. All right, what else we got? Cup. Can't beat that rich synth cough aroma. Cheap shit. Cold, too. Mm hmm. Buck a slice. Ordinary box. Decker, Tanaka, and Rogers logo. Standard for a trash coffee. Okay. We're looking for an electric core power plant located near a bucket slice. So? He sees it. Means someone's to have grabbing bucket slice regularly. In Hill. Which is not something Bucca one does for the flavor and fresh ingredients. How can you be sure? Pizza though? shares its DNA with styrofoam. Why are we talking over each other? Across town for it. Hmm. Well, we could at least finish this. What's she doing? What's going on? Oh, his arm peeled back. What's going on? Oh wow, she shredded him alive. Here we go. Old electric core power plant in Charter Hill. Gotta make do with that for now. Nothing else to garner from this school. I feel like that session sort of bugged out. That was weird. No time to lose. We gotta go Say there. Say goodbye to your favorite bootleg brands, Jumbo. Definitely. An Ride with me. Spokesperson has announced efforts that now, we'll meet the there, Judy. The we'll meet on site. Need to get a few old. things together first. first on the mega okay. Just not too long, all right? All right, guys. We made some really good progress there. We cleaned out Watson, and we may have zeroed in on where Evelyn Parker is. In the next episode, we'll clear up a bit more of the street, and then we'll go, um... See if we can fetch Evelyn, see what's going on with her. I hope you're having a good time, because I'm enjoying making these videos. I'm going to keep doing it all the way to the end. Ride or die, bitches. just want to thank you again for watching. I hope you're having a good time, and I'll catch you in the next video. See you there, chum.